Hey, what up, America? This your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV. Now, I got a Lyft Chronicles for you. Now, today is uh, Monday morning, uh, 627 to be exact, a.m., uh, September the 24th. Now, I got Lyft Chronicles. Now, to you Lyft drivers out there, uh, black car service, regular Lyft drivers, I'm telling you, in the, in the wee hours of the night, in the wee hours of the morning is where you make your bread. I've been eating like a fat cat. So I'm about to shut it down now because I've made my quarter for the day. But Live Chronicles got a ride from downtown LA and the Beyonce concert was last night. So it was some people who uh, was partying with to a couple after hours. So it was time for them to go home. So I picked up uh, a group of people, same ride, but um, it, it wasn't enough. It was three people. So two people had to sit in the back and somebody sat in the front. So the one that sat in the front, you know, was a little petite man, you know, and, uh, no disrespect to him, but he was gay. Uh, no problem. I'm heterosexual. Uh, who I choose to sleep with, that's my, my issue. That's my concern. You know, who you sleep with, that's your disposition. So I'm not judging him by no stretch of imagination. Just uh, just got to put that disclaimer out there just because people are real sensitive. But his demeanor, you know, he was a man, you know, but he had a more docile demeanor. And we have a conversation about social uh, issues and things like that. We went from... Um, downtown LA to West Hollywood. So we had this conversation. So to keep a long story short, when I dropped them off, the group got out, you know, thank you for the ride. And you know, they got to saying, you know, ooh, nice car and all that good stuff, whatever, whatever, whatever. I got to keep it pushing. So when he got out, I was like, all right, man, have a good one. He turned around and said, toodles. <laughs> I was like, all right, bro, toodles. Okay, man, have a good one, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I put a little extra base, let them know. Because they be asked, they be vetting me. Are you married? And I'll be like, come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on now. But when I dropped them off, I'm headed to Beverly Hills. Because that's that's my lane. That's my spot. Those are my areas. So, But when I dropped them off, when I made the left from dropping them off on the corner that I dropped them off on, I was on uh, La Palma. And I banked the left on La Palma. And based on the navigation, I'm supposed to make a right on Santa Monica. But it was a little, some issues going on on between La Palma on, on the block just off of uh, Santa Monica. So when I turned the corner, I said, wait a minute. You know, I seen, nigga, I, I literally looked like the WNBA just came from the club. I mean, I saw some tall, like, I was like, whoa, that one right there looked like Tyra Banks. Nigga, that's Candace Parker right there. But when I when I got a little closer, I said, wait a minute, that's not Tyra Banks. That, that that's He looked more like Ed Banks. <laughs> I mean, I can't make this stuff up, people. I'm telling you. So, but the car in front of me wouldn't move. And the, tr the light was was red, but we was kind of stuck. So the person, that car, a uh, car eased up on the side and I looked. But the car slowed down and then it eased in front of me, stopped. And I'm like, man, what's, you know, what's up with this? I hit the doors. Like, man, what's going on? So the car stopped and a female, tall, one of those Tyra Banks, uh, Candace Parker looking uh, people uh, jumped out the car and like hit the window, start talking shit. Was boom, you know. I was like, wait a minute, you know. And I didn't want her to hit, you know, to touch my car, so I, I hit the window and I looked over. I said, you all right? You good? You good? And I'm thinking this woman, this damsel in distress, you know, even you know, about to say help, help, you know, he tried to rob me. You know, you know what she said. That motherfucker go act like he didn't know I was gay. I was like, oh, he know where the fuck he at? I'm like, whoa, like, wait a minute. In, in that voice. And then, then she turned around and said, but that motherfucker gave me my $100, though. Yeah, he going to get scared because he looked at you. Then he go talk about, oh, I didn't know you was a man because he looked at you. I'm like, man, in my mind, shit. I mean, I can't make this, I can't make this up. And I'm sitting like, whoa, like, like, okay. So, but, man, man. And then when I hit the corner, I had a shared ride and it was like on the same block, man. I turned it off, man. I came, I said, I'm done for the day. No, I ain't, I ain't finna be in the car with these Shivers, man. I mean, when I say tall, I mean, got the, the feminine look, only thing different. It's like, just imagine Tyra Banks body when she was at her prime modeling and put my head on it with a beard. That's what they look like. So niggas stay off of La Palma. And Santa Monica, and that, that's West Hollywood, and we know it's West Hollywood all about, so stay off of La Palma and Santa Monica, okay? 
Now, unless you that dude from G Unit, <laughs> I ain't gonna call no names. I ain't gonna name drop. But y'all have a good day, man. That's the Lip Chronicles. Y'all have a good day. Peace out. Better Black America.